just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like got a made it Got a made it Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven Last night, a lot of people wondered what the Baltimore Ravens were going to do with their 22nd overall pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. A lot of people wondered if they were going to take a receiver, if they were going to take a corner, if they were going to trade up, because there were some rumors about that. Or it was expected from some people that the Ravens would trade back, because with them only having five picks, that's so unraven like but as the pick got closer and closer, we realized the Ravens were going to have a good choice of options to go to at 22. And they ended up selecting Zay Flowers, the wide receiver uh, from Boston College. And with Zay Flowers, I didn't even know until last night. When I saw him walk on the stage, I was thinking it, but I was like, oh, I don't know, man. So people in the comment section did tell me, oh, he he, he from Fort Lauderdale. So he from South Florida. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> we got one then. Um, but now nah, I, I decided because, as y'all know, I hadn't had the chance to watch any film really on much of anybody uh, this offseason that was coming out of the draft. So what I did this morning was watch film on Zay Flowers just so I could come up with my own assessment of him, with my own analysis of him. And hey, if I miss something, y'all please let me know. If I get anything wrong, feel free to let me know. But I do like the pick. I, I love the pick before we get into his traits and whatnot. I, I like it because this is something that I've been wanting the Baltimore Ravens to do uh, for a long time, and that's really surround Lamar with weapons, with quality weapons. Um, and to, to mix it, to not just go all young, to not just go all rookie, to not just go all draft, but to get uh, a, a good veterans too. So this offseason, they went and signed Odell Beckham Jr. They signed Nelson Aguilar too. Um, but they also had Rashad Bateman returning for his third year, and now they go and get Zay Flowers. Now, um, I, I do think when they drafted him last night uh, that I think it officially ended the DeAndre Hopkins to Baltimore Ravens sweepstakes. We'll see. Anything's still possible, but I, I think that pretty much ended that. Uh, but we'll continue to monitor that, as you know. But anyway, Zay Flowers. Um, when I watched him, because I watched his game versus Wake Forest, I watched his game last year versus Syracuse, and I watched uh, another one of his games versus, oh, what was the last team? Syracuse, Wake Forest, and Rutgers. Rutgers, that was the one. Uh, but anyway, so what, what I saw from him, uh, without the ball in his hands, he's a smooth route runner. Very, very, very smooth route runner. Um, he is twitchy. Uh, he is not afraid. He, he may just be 5'10", but he is not afraid to, to go head up with somebody and, and block him. He ain't afraid to engage contact with a defender uh, when it comes to blocking him. So I like that. I appreciated that. Now, um, I, I know a lot of people that like, people like to do player comps. Like, oh, who, who do you compare this player to uh, that was in the NFL? And I, I've heard a lot of people saying Steve Smith seeing, Steve Smith seeing, Steve Smith seeing. And that's great. But I didn't see Steve Smith seeing in his game. Maybe, again, that's, that could just be me. I saw a lot more Antonio Brown in his game than Steve Smith Sr. And I don't know if people were saying Steve Smith Sr. just because I know Steve Smith Sr. really, really liked him. Uh, maybe because Steve Smith Sr. Is, he's a shorter guy. Steve Smith Sr. I think was like 5'9". Um, but I saw the, the way that he plays, the way that he runs, the way that he moves, to me I saw a lot more Antonio Brown. And, I mean, you can't go wrong with either one. Um, so if he ends up playing like either one, great. But, I mean, we, we really just want him to be Zay Flowers. Um, but he is somebody, again, the route running was great. Uh, when he does get the ball in his hands, at like nine times out of ten, that first person going to miss. Whoever that first defender is, they missing, man. Like, straight up, man. Uh, as soon as he catches the ball, he, he turns up the field quick. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. But again, the route running, man. The route running is something serious. Uh, if he has a free release, oh, he's going to get open. He's going to get open. If he has a free release, he will get open. Now, um, I think where the problem could come in would be against those real physical corners. Those physical corners that's really going to press you hard all off, off the line and won't give you that free release. That's when I think there could be issues. But, hey, we'll see how it goes. Now, um, something about him was also versatility. Uh, and when I, what I mean when I say that is that he can do multiple things in different places. 
Uh, they had him lining up a lot in the slot. They also had him lining up a lot outside. So they had they had him lining up, motioning out in and out of the backfield and whatnot. So he he was everywhere. He was literally everywhere, and you could tell that he, he's a playmaker. He's a playmaker, and he's somebody that Boston College wanted to make sure he got his touches. He's somebody that you want to get the ball like I know they were talking about maybe like in, in college like 10 to 14 times in the NFL might be a little bit less because it's, 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 it's a little more to go around and whatnot. You got some other people around you, but he's going to be somebody that the Ravens are going to want to make sure they get the ball in his hands. But you could say the same thing for Odell, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins. So this is a good problem to have. This is a good move that was made. So I like it because you can never have enough playmakers, ever, ever. You can never have enough guys that can make some plays. Zay Flowers, again, when he gets the ball in his hand, he could take a quick little two-yard pass, turn it into 10 just by making somebody miss because he is very, very quick, very, very extremely twitchy, man, extremely. Like I said, he, he reminded me of Antonio Brown. And I know um, that a lot of people were hung up with the whole short wide receiver thing. Um, but I wonder, just thinking, thinking out loud, I wonder like if the Ravens were to, because we, we, I know there's Tyreek Hill. I'm not saying he's Tyreek Hill, but Tyreek Hill is what, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, five, maybe? He one of the shortest receivers out there. But uh, when you do your top five wide receiver list, he's somewhere at the top. He's close, if, if not at the top, he's close to the top. Another guy, Stephon Diggs from Maryland. Stephon Diggs, when people do that top five wide receiver list, usually Stephon Diggs is up there. Stephon Diggs around the same height too. So I, I do get that we wanted somebody with a bigger frame, a taller wide receiver, but that doesn't, it's not the end of the world. And it does not mean that just because he's not a taller wide receiver that he can't make plays. If a receiver can make plays, they can make plays. Again, see Tyreek Hill and Stephon Diggs, some of the best in the game. Um, so with Zay Flowers, uh, it's just exciting to know that the Ravens got somebody, again, that can be explosive. You can, and, and you can mix and match too, because you got an Odell Beckham Jr. You can put him outside. You got a Rashad Bateman. You can put him outside. And Zay Flowers, uh, you can put him inside. Like to have those three on the field at the same, and then there's still Mark Andrews, and then there's still J.K. Dobbins. And then, like, if Lamar be like, you know what? I feel like taking off. Go ahead, Lamar, do your thing. So this just gives the Ravens another good option. And I would have to assume, like, with them drafting him in the first round, that he was sort of leapfrog uh, Devin DuVernay, who was a third-round pick back in uh, 2020. Because um, Devin DuVernay, he's also some somebody that, you want to get the ball in his hand in multiple ways. And, and it's, it's nice to have multiple guys like that. It's nice to have that diversity. It's nice to just have so many options. And there's still Nelson Aguilar as well. So the Ravens really have. They, they talked about they wanted to revamp this wide receiver room. They got an Odell. They got Nelson Aguilar. And now they drafted Zay Flowers. So they have revamped it. And then, of course, Rashad Bateman coming back and, and DuVernay, too. The rest, I'm not so sure right now. It's still up in the air, but they have revamped this wide receiver room, and I'm looking forward to it. Another thing I'm looking forward to uh, is the use of these wide receivers, both the old ones and the new ones, in this Todd Monken offense. So just him just being able to get the most out of these guys is something that I'm looking forward to. He's obviously worked with Odell Beckham Jr. in the past. He's worked with guys like Mike Evans in the past. He sh but he's shown that he can get production out of multiple guys. And that's the part that's most exciting for me. Because with the Ravens, um, usually uh, it, it could be a struggle, especially multiple receivers. Like a receiver and a tight end, they could do it, especially with health and everything. But multiple receivers to get production out of multiple receivers – it just, in the previous offense, it just wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing like that. Um, and different things did play their part, but it just, overall, just really wasn't a thing. But now you got somebody that, it's like, oh, okay, you giving me more? Okay, I'm good with that. So I'm just, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this thing 
uh, all the way. Seeing this thing at full gold, man. Seeing everybody out there on the field. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Uh, with Zay Flowers, back to him, um, he can be a deep threat, uh, which is nice. He's somebody that can, can stretch the field, uh, open stuff up for everybody. But then you think about it, like, again, Odell Beckham Jr., a deep threat. Rashad Bateman, a deep threat. But all three of those guys, they can be deep threats, but they can do everything underneath as well. So it's going to be nice to just see the spacing this year with the different wide receivers, just see how they just use the entire field. And it's going to be interesting to see, hopefully not see them just be boxed into this one area of the field and be caged in and that's it. No, they need to use the whole field. I believe, what is the field? Like 53 yards wide, I believe. Something like, not, no, not 53 yards wide. I'm tripping. That that would be half the football field. I, I forgot how, how many yards or meters or whatever it is wide. It ain't 53 yards, though, because that, that would be half the football field. But anyway, use the whole field. You, you Use the whole thing. But it's just, it's exciting to think about, man. It's, it's exciting to think about because this is, right now, this is probably the, the best group that the Ravens uh, have ever had on paper. It's the best group. Um, they have currently four first-rounders. Four first-round wide receivers there. Um, that being Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Zay Flowers, and Nelson Aguilar. Um, and I know with Aguilar, he probably hasn't lived up all the way to being a first rounder, but it's the reason that he got drafted in the first round. So hopefully, hey, with the Baltimore Ravens, he can show that. And all these guys can show it. And even guys that weren't first rounders, they could play like first rounders. And, and everybody just does their thing. So that, that's what I'm um, really looking forward to, man. Really looking forward to him. And before we get out of here, I got to give some special shout outs. Uh, first, I got to give a special shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean patron, uh, my guy Harrison. So appreciate you. Appreciate you becoming a Team Keep It Clean patron. Um, if any of y'all like to become Team Keep It Clean patrons, you can go to patreon.com slash engravingvids. It's all down below in the description. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I get it. Uh, but for the uh, channel members, I got to give a special shout out to the newest Team Keep It Clean channel members. Now, if any of y'all would like to become one, uh, you can click the join button um, next, to, uh, next to my name on YouTube. Uh, and... For every comment you put, you have a nice little star next to your name just to show, hey, I'm a channel member. So your comments will stick out a bit more. Um, but I got to give a special shout out to the newest channel members. That's my guy Irvin Green, Larry Johnson, uh, Tim Rado, my guy Lenny, Jose uh, Esparza, Calm City, Geech, Jay Simpson, Manny B, Raya, Plex, Cam the Baptist, Isaiah 103, uh, Alan Joseph, Bass Lord, and Griff. So I appreciate y'all, all of y'all. Uh, I know Base Lord last night in the live stream, he was going crazy, giving a bunch of people um, channel memberships. So I, I appreciate that, Base Lord, because I remember you did that before. So thank you for that. Uh, but shout out to all of y'all. Shout out to everybody. I appreciate everybody. Um, thank you all for just being a crazy, crazy, crazy support system. Um, we had a lot of fun in the live stream of the draft last night. And... Tonight's draft should be interesting as well. No, Ravens don't currently have a second-round pick, but they got a third and beyond. So we'll see how it goes. We, we'll, we will not be live-streaming any more the draft. That's done. We only do the first night, and that's it. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the Ravens do. But back to this, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, how Zay Flowers does uh, with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, him being from Fort Lauderdale, that, that, that was just... I'm not a big cake person, but so that was the icing on the cake. But I mean, I do like, I do like brownies though. So I guess that was the the, the chocolate fudge put in the brownie. So to, to say it like that. But um, now that that it's, it's cool, man. It, it, it's cool. So we got yet another Florida Raven. So he should fit right in. And I didn't even realize. I know there were some people. I remember um back a couple months ago. Lamar Jackson will be posting Zay Flowers on Instagram and stuff. And people are like, oh, we're going to get Zay Flowers. That's who we're going to get. Oh, that's, that's he's friends with Lamar. Da, 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 da. And I was like, it's just Instagram. Like, I ain't like, no, man. But it ended up happening. Um, they did say, uh, they said Eric DaCosta said that he um, told Zay Flowers, like, hey, if you there at 22, I'm taking you. I'm taking you. That's what Zay Flowers said, I believe. And they took him. Uh, but it'll be nice, like, I, I think, uh, especially with him being from South Florida, 
uh, that can help. That's it's not the end all be all, but the more chemistry you have off the field, it can help your chemistry on the field. I mean, we remember how it was with Lamar and Hollywood. Um, like even I know people with Hollywood, they were like, "Oh man, he's shorter." Because Hollywood was like five nine, I think, too, something like that, five eight, five nine. Uh, but he was a red zone threat. And if you like think about that, what five eight, five nine, red zone threat? Nah, he was. He was. He was a red zone threat. Lamar threw that ball to him in the red zone. Hey, he got plenty of touchdowns off of it too. Obviously, Mark Andrews is a red zone threat too. And he's somebody like six three, six four, but somebody five eight, five nine. Lamar also made him a red zone threat. So is Zay Flowers. It's there, man. Another thing about him that I forgot. I mean, speaking of red zone, I remember there was a uh, like a. It looked like it was gonna be a fade route, but Zay Zay Flowers didn't even jump. The, he uh, I forgot which game it was. But the quarterback threw the ball to him, and, and the way that he controlled his body, he ran his route as he like he knew where that ball was gonna be, and he was running, running, and then the ball was coming, and he turned around and came down with it, and it was just like man, this this guy got excellent control over his body, excellent control over his body. Um, he catches with his hands. That's a big thing. Does not body catch the ball. Um, to, for jump balls, he's going to go up there and try to get it. Uh, sometimes he'll win. Sometimes he won't win. Um, but I, I think, yeah, his specialty is just when, when he get the ball in his hands, uh, just, again, the first person ain't catching him. First person going to miss every time. But he'll find a way to get a bunch of yak. Yak, 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 yak. And Ravens could use as much of that uh, as possible. But, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing him. Looking forward to seeing how he does with these Baltimore Ravens, and it should be a really good time. So welcome to the squad, Zay Flowers, and Zay Flowers family, too, because, you know, it ain't just the players. The players' family it's their friends, all that stuff. So welcome aboard uh, to being a Baltimore Raven. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, and we out. <laughs>